Talk about Ali and his mystique and what he meant to the game. Ali was everything to the game. Um, the game was dying when he came along. But when Ali came aboard and he's the Olympic champion, um, it was just, the game just took off from there. It took off from there. And every fighter today owe him something. You know what I mean? Because that's how much he elevated the game, you know? Some people say when he was younger, he was as fast as a middleweight. What, did, you, did you find his speed impressive? Very. Um, the first time I had the opportunity to uh, spar with Ali, because I was still an amateur. I had just won the National AUs. I toured Europe. I come back. I was getting ready to turn pro. They sent me to Miami to, to spar with Ali. Ali was gracious enough to take time out of his schedule to give me three, four rounds, I think it was, and um, the rest is history, yeah, yeah, you know what I mean? Yeah. So, I mean, to me, Ali, uh, he put the game at another level, man, you know, and when everybody, when you fought Ali, you made money, you know what I mean? Everybody got a piece of the action. You know what I mean? And uh, he didn't duck nobody, he didn't dodge nobody, he fought everybody that was in line. Yeah. You know? Are they doing that today? Yeah. I don't know, I don't, you know what I mean? But uh, Ali was very special. A lot of people, t you are an extremely powerful puncher. A lot of people talk about Ali's chin. He, he took some shots from you, talk about his chin. Ali had a strong chin. Ali... Uh, you know, what can I say about Ali that ain't been said, you know what I mean? Uh, he had a strong chin, he took a good shot. A lot of guys can take a punch, but can't recover, you know what I mean? I mean, they take the punch and stand up, but are they really still there? Ali took the punch and came back around. He had a way of uh, coming back and going back and getting in control of the thing. Some guys, you hit them and hurt them, and they stay away, stay away, you take the punch, but all the time they leery. Ali wasn't like that. Yeah. Once he cleared his head, he jumped right back on you. Right. Well, talk about your ear. It was very deep. I mean, you go one to ten, everyone in that division was could have awesome. been champ. Could have been, yeah. no question. But we learned from the Carmen Pacilios, the Ray Robinsons, the, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Um, the Joe Lewis's, the Rocky Marcianos, those are, the, those are our peers. Yeah. And so from watching them, we had a chance to take it to another level. And that's what we did, you know? Back then, they, you only had one sentient in body, it was Ring Magazine. Yeah, yeah. You feel me? Yeah. Now you got WBC, you got WA, you got the IBF, yeah. you got um, World Boxing, you got, uh, you know what I mean? It's, it's, there's a lot of organizations, you know? Yeah. So that kind of thinned it out a little bit. Right, right. Is, is there anything that prepared you for the game while you were in prison? Yeah. Um, Sonny Liston inspired me. You know what I'm saying? He, he was in jail, he got out, he fought his way to the top, um, he beat everybody in front of him. So that inspired me to do something with my life while I was there in reform school and in prison. You know what I mean? Just like I would imagine I inspired a lot of other cons. You know what I mean? So that was passed on to me. I hope I pass it on to the next guy. Whoever just grabbed the hold and went on and he passes to the next guy. You know? The, uh, the prison, prison life is no different from our lives out here in the free world. The only difference is we can move around. In prison, you can't move around. You isolate it, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. But the dreams are still the same. The ambitions are still the same. The struggle's still the same. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. And so it's just up to the individual to take advantage of the opportunities that come his way. That's, from my experiences, that's the way it was. Mm -hmm. If I didn't take advantage of the opportunities that was placed in front of me, I wouldn't be sitting here talking to you people right now. Right. You know, so I had to take advantage of that. Did you do any training while you were in prison? That's all I did. Yeah. That's all I did. You know, 
I had nothing to other than that, you know, letters from home, from your parents, your brothers, your sisters, and to keep you going, you know. Um, hadn't boxing been there, would I have survived? I don't know. But I do know that boxing was there, and I took advantage of it, and here I am. How, how much time did they allow you to train per day? Well, it, it, my situation, um, I worked in the gym. I was, I was the gym runner. The athletic director, Clifford Maddox, God rest his soul, wherever he is, um, he is the guy that got my attention. And I remember him once telling me, he said, uh, once you realize your potential, they won't be looking back. He said, but once, he says, you got to learn to uh, get a grip on your temper and instead of always trying to respond in a negative way, try to respond in a positive way. And it made a lot of sense, you know, but it took a long time for it to sink in, you know, and uh, he worked with me. Had he not took, taken me under his wing, Ain't no telling where I'd be. Right, right. You know, so yeah, I think that the, the prison system is not the best. You know what I mean? Yeah. But it has is there's an opportunity there to get the best out of the individual mm -hmm. because of the, the strict um, discipline that's required there. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Yeah. And I took advantage of that. So it was boxing the way then that you were able to channel your your temper? Absolutely. Yeah. Sports, athletics. I played football, I played baseball, and I played basketball. In basketball, 35, 40 home runs. I mean, 35, 40 points, rebounds, 30, 20, point, 20 rebounds a game. I was a forward. I had good spring, good jump shot. I was a good athlete. I played baseball, batted 400. 35 home runs a year, you know what I mean? Uh, football, I played uh, linebacker, cornerback, uh, running you back, a <laughs> running back, and I guess where I ended up? Playing quarterback. I could throw the ball 70 yards. <laughs> no, no kidding. Wow. Yeah, and so I was a good athlete, but boxing, for some strange reason, came easier than all of that. Is that right? And I grew up playing football, baseball, and basketball. But boxing, it it was like putting a rabbit in the broad patch. Yeah. Ain't no catching it, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know, so there you go, you know.